Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with the NK. Stay frosty. Hey everyone, I'm back at it, this time over at Church's Chicken to take a look at a portable version of a true comfort food classic that they've got on special right now, just as we're kicking off 2020. So let's check out their all new handheld chicken pot pie. And with one of these being $1.79, I decided to go up on that two for three, guys. That's really the way to go with this. As you can see, a fairly crispy situation. I've got one split right down the middle for you. We've got a very solid amount of that chicken pot pie crust. And on the inside, the chicken pot pie filling, a mixture of chicken, some veggies, and a nice thick amount of tastiness to go around it all, guys. It's looking very hearty. And again, the outside of it, nice and crispy. I waited about six minutes for these. And I gotta say, nice and crispy, nice and golden. The smell is pretty authentic. Really, really nice on this one. Let's not waste any more time. Let's see if that flavor is gonna deliver. It's the all new handheld chicken pot pie, the mobile version of a comfort food classic here at Church's Chicken. Steep out this flavor. Yeah, this is definitely checking off the boxes in the aroma department for what a chicken pot pie should smell like. And the appearance is pretty reminiscent of that as well, guys. The crust definitely looks a little flaky, especially when you see the cross section of it. Let's see how the flavor is though. But hey, real quick, before I do that, and like always, if you guys are fans of high quality, delicious looking food reviews, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to tap the bell icon so you can be notified as soon as brand new content drops every single week. Here we go, the handheld version of chicken pot pie, brand new here at Church's Chicken. Mmm, that's pretty good. Yeah, that crust is definitely flaky and very reminiscent of a chicken pot pie crust when you pierce it on the top with your fork, guys. It really began to fall apart as I was biting into that but I did get a nice piece of chicken and the filling on the inside. Flavor-wise, it's not really rich tasting. That's the only thing I'm finding here. I mean, it tastes like chicken. It's got a little bit of that thickness to it as well, but the flavor is not jumping out at me, but it's decent though for what it is. Let's keep going. You know, I'm a little conflicted as I'm getting further into this because I am liking the overall texture. I love the flakiness of it, and you would expect it to be a little on the saltier side since it's completely fried, but I'm not getting a lot of overly crazy flavor from the inside of it. That's the only thing with this. The chicken is fairly plentiful, although as you can see, I've got a lot of veggies in the end there, but there is not a lot going on here otherwise, guys. That's the only problem with it. All right, let me bring up the container. This comes in real fast because I was a little caught off guard by how flaky this crust was gonna be after biting into that cross section. But guys, like I said earlier, I'm a little conflicted with the overall flavor with this. I like the flakiness of the dough on the outside. It's really authentic tasting. But once you get into the meat of it, so to speak, the chicken is just okay. The veggies, it's a nice touch naturally having the veggies anyway because that's part of a pot pie. But the pie-like filling overall is not really jumping out and the saltiness is not really there either. So it's a little on the bland side, but I do like the overall flavor because it's subtle. It seems like it's trying to be a really, really rich pot pie, but it's just not reaching the mark because the filling is not super flavorful. But hey, two for three bucks, not a bad deal at all. Let's keep going with it and then we'll wrap this one up. Well, I gotta say, I definitely like the execution of this one. It definitely has that flaky feel to it, especially when you bite into it. And the overall flavor of the crust itself does deliver. Top and bottom, it really is a very, very nice tasting crust in general. But unfortunately, that is the main highlight of what this is. And while I get there's gonna be a lot of people that love the crust in general of Popeyes more than anything else, I think the balance of having a really, really nicely thick, rich filling goes a long way on top of the flakiness of the crust to really complement one another. I just wish the flavor was a little bit more balanced, but still, two for three, not a bad deal. So with that said, I'm gonna have to give the handheld chicken pot pie here at Church's Chicken a pretty average six and a half out of 10. For everything you've heard me mention throughout this review, I think it's pretty spot on, at least based upon my experience anyway. The crust is an absolute highlight, as it should be, because it's one of the main features and it's one of the main selling points of it in general. I only wish the insides really matched that in terms of flavor, but the overall value of what you're getting for two for three is still not a bad deal. I would recommend giving it a shot if you've got churches in the area. Now the question is, are you gonna give this one a shot? Drop some comments down below. Are you a fan of chicken pot pies to begin with? And if you are, how enticed are you to try a portable version of it, especially from a fast food chicken spot? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another episode of Peep This Out, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So while you stay tuned for the next review coming real soon, in the meantime, stay frosty. All right, by the time this video goes live, it's gonna be just after New Year's. So let me take a quick moment to wish each and every one of you guys a very, very happy New Year as we lead into 2020. Still no flying cars yet, but I'm not gonna get into that right now. Nothing but health, happiness, and success always to every single one of you watching this review right now. And of course, lots of good times and lots of great eats coming up here on the channel. So stay tuned for that. All right, everyone, until next time, I'll talk to you soon. But hey, real quick before you go, and just in case you haven't already, take a look at the last review that I put out right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's gonna recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.